Hey, it's Eric from Cornerstone Northwest Education and Inspections. Let me talk briefly about something I see on home inspections pretty frequently, something called reverse polarity. In a perfect world, these are designed for power to come in one side and out the other. And when you plug something into this, that power comes in, goes through whatever you have plugged in, and then back out in a certain direction. When that is reversed, bad things can happen. An example I often like to use with my clients is a simple light. When you look inside that light, you'll see the light socket and the base is made of metal. You screw the light bulb into that. Now the very bottom of that is the hot portion. That's where the electricity sits all the time. And when you turn the switch, it then allows the electricity to flow through the light bulb and then back through the socket. So when this is wired reversely, that metal socket piece on the outside, that is hot all of the time. Think of a nightstand light and reaching up to that nightstand light. Often you're feeling around for the switch. What might you come in contact with but that metal socket base? And if it's wired backwards, uh, you'll touch that metal and you will get shocked. So that's just a quick example of reverse polarization in a home and why it is not a good thing. This has been Drive-By Wisdom.